Hello and welcome back to another episode of Brandon Walks Through Suikoden. So we're gonna go left here for another treasure chest in this doorway. We end up getting a thousand bits. So, and we end up getting a bit. So, we'll just quickly wipe them out. Get our experience and be on our way down that ominous center. Uh, I don't know. Aisleway right there. Aisleway of rocks and death. So, speaking of which, we will destroy. So, um, then experience and repeat. <laughs> so, we go up into the store. More stairs. Another treasure chest in which we get. No! Just let me open the treasure chest, please. Um, sorry I'm not editing these out. If these are getting annoying. Um, but they're only a few seconds long. It'll take way longer for me to edit them all out. Just for, you know, just a couple seconds that you saved. <laughs> so, as much as I like you guys, it's going to take me ten times longer to edit them all out. Because see how easy that was? Bam. Really bugs you. Skip ahead three seconds. <laughs> um, and we get leggings. Go up these stairs. Ooh, that boss lady doesn't look very nice. And wild boars. Two of them this time instead of the one in the field of Greg Minster. Um. Hmm, but we got it. We got it under control. We are pretty awesome. Why is Kanan helping? A little scaredy cat. Okay, so we're gonna go on and keep. Alright, so. We're gonna go ahead and fight this boss looking person. Looks very mean. Queen Ant. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these uh, regular ants right now. And we do have that water crystal on Cleo, and that, in case we ever get uh, hurt, um, we're able to, to cure ourselves. Bam! And then she summons more uh, soldier ants. So the smartest strategy here is to only get rid of uh, two of them right now, and then have Ted and Cleo wipe out the Queen Ant. But we keep... Well, Ted does 10 damage, while Cleo only does 1, which is nowhere near enough. And then we get sucked in! Holy crap! Oh! And then more Ant. So I lied about that strategy. <laughs> uh, they just keep getting... Um, just keep coming out of nowhere, so we're just gonna be... We're gonna unite, do that Talisman attack on the Queen Ant. Uh, keep attacking with our long range. We're not doing much damage, so this isn't looking too good for us. Hmm. Han and Gremio die from that, and then we we get out of battle and be like, damn, she's powerful. We'll never beat her. At this rate, we'll get wiped out. Fool. Fools, what are you saying? You must protect me. Young master, let's run. I'll protect you. I don't know if we can make it. Do something! To which Ted, Brandon, everybody, stand back. I have an idea. Um, basically just pick whatever you want, but, you know, you don't want him to be reckless. Don't worry, Brandon, let me handle this. Thanks for being considerate. Ted goes in this. It's an automatic battle. And what is he doing? Damn. Have you been able to do that the whole time? Ted, 
Dad, how did you do that? Sorry, but I can't explain right now. Brandon, I'll tell you when we get home, but don't ask me now. Anyway, let's get rid of the bandits so we can go back to Craigminster. <laughs> Very positive about this after he just completely wiped out the, the Queen Anne. This must be what Commander Crates was talking about. Hmm. I sense plot thickening. So we can go up here and get that treasure chest. Come down here. Go over here and then down after one last fight. Oh yes, they're dead. I forgot to revive them. Whoops, the daisies. We can still uh, kick these guys' butts. Um, there's more than one way to go about reviving them. I would just do the medicine uh, when we're out of battle. They just don't get the experience for this battle, which isn't much. But we do get an Earth Rune piece. So, uh, we'll go to Grimio, use on himself, even though he's dead. That's alright. Go down here. And this is what is called a Journeyman's Crystal. And we're allowed to save here, so I'll do that real quick. So after we save, we can go up here. And meet the bandits that have been causing us so much trouble. Well, well, we have visitors. How unusual. What do you want? Listen up, you bandits. I, Kanan, Assistant Commander of the Imperial Guard of the Golden Emperor Barbarossa, have come here to teach you a lesson. Turn yourselves in, you tax thieves. Did you hear that? He says we're the tax thieves. Listen here, you petty clerk. I'm Vaucus of the Whirlwind Axe. Sidonia, you introduce yourself too. Heh, <laughs> why bother? Affable fellow. Anyway, that there is Moxman Sidonia. You Imperial tax robbers better get out of here before you get hurt. I am a renowned Imperial hero. Shut up! Don't you join in in their games. Listen, man, it's... If you don't give yourselves up, you'll be sorry. <laughs> you want to fight, fellas? Go get them. Oh, whoa! These guys are serious. What are you going to do? Hurry up and fight. Fight! Ugh. You stupid canon always getting us in these situations. So we're just going to go ahead tear them apart wow um bam two turns not too bad if you guys don't like the voices leave comments or if you do like them definitely leave comments um same uh which voice is your favorite you guys are hopeless i'll take you on myself sidonia give me a hand <laughs> with a sweet haircut all right so this is a boss against barkus sidonia um, basically, uh, do what we've been doing, just attack, maybe do a Talesman attack here and there. Uh, we have a few medicines and kindness drops. Um, so we'll definitely end this LP with a good note. Intense. Wow, and we just, uh, destroy Varkus with that unite attack. Let's just make everyone attack. I could have just done free will and save a little bit of time, but um that ought to do it. 141. And sure enough. We get a decent amount of experience. They get to level up a little bit. And we get 1400 bits from it. Give up? Ha <laughs> ha! Are you alright, young master? <laughs> That's what you get for defying me. You didn't do a thing. Damn, how could we be defeated by Imperial dogs? Capture the bandits! Okay, our work is done. Let's get the hell out of here. So you automatically go all the way down to the, to the end of the mountain. But if you went all the way back up, and I believe I did this on the first time I, I, I played this game, like... The, you go all the way back up just to see what that door is and it ends up being locked or something like that. So don't worry about it. You're not missing much right now anyway. 
Sure, fast on the way down. Hurry it up, you all. We're off to Heroes Welcome in Rockland. Ha <laughs> ha! So, now you get control of your character again. And then we'll be off uh, to Rockland. Just straight east. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Grady right after I save. Okay, we're back in Grady's uh, mansion. Welcome back, Master Kanan. What happened with the bandits? What? You captured them? I'll get Master Grady right away. Please wait a moment. Oh. You're back so soon, I'm very impressed, Imperial Guardsman. You didn't waste any time capturing the tax thief. What do you mean, tax thief? You're the tax thief! We'll place them in this dungeon here. Hmm, so it makes you wonder what he's really doing with his money. And what's really been going on. Uh, Master Kanan. What? Please take this, a small gift from the villagers. Well, thank you very much! 10,000 bits. Um, this is dangerous, so I'll hold on to it. Lost 10,000 bits, so we didn't really get much out of that. Thanks to my efforts, the bandits have been captured. Let's go back to Gregminster. I want to report my success to Commander Craze right away. So, this is a great place to stop. Uh... We noticed that Kanan is a thieving jerk. Gosh, well, we knew that the whole time. Uh, so, and next time, we'll be back in Gregminster and report back to Commander Craze and let's talk up to Ted about his mysterious power. But, you'll have to tune in next time. Thank you very much, and I will see you then. But one side note here, uh, really quick, before you go back to Gregminster, be sure to unequip any... Uh, really important items from Ted or from Pon. Just some storyline elements happen and um, just anything that's really important. Medicine, don't really worry about. Leave it leave it on their person. But anything like any room pieces that you have, be sure to give those to Cleo, uh, Gremio, or uh, the hero. Uh, just don't have Ted or Pon uh, have it by the time you get back to Gregminster. So uh, just be sure of that and I will see you next time.